Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. So, I meant to see this movie yesterday, got delayed to today instead, which is fine, because I woke up to this fucking weather. Yeah, this is literally, like, seconds before walking in the theater to see the movie. Totally set the tone for this film. So the plot for this movie reads, about 45,000 years ago, a desperate band of early humans find a new land to settle in. As they start to realize that something monstrous is hunting them down, they must confront a horrifying danger that they never could have imagined. And yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, it's that type of movie. It is 87 minutes long. Let's fucking go. So right off the bat, what I want to say is that as far as like tones go, which this film was really, this was like a big thing for me, like when I first saw this trailer, because I do things for like every month. I try and like plan out like which reviews I'm going to do. And I saw this one listed there, Out of Darkness, horror film, and I was like, I'm definitely going to see Lisa Frankenstein that weekend. And then I saw the trailer in the theater and I was like, oh yeah, for an atmospheric period horror film, I'm fucking there. And what I'll say is that, yeah, that going into this film, it fucking crushes it. The opening instrumental, just like the film as horror cinema being the ominous cinematography as well as just like being a period piece. The first shot of this film, just hearing like the fire crackling like from the speakers all around the auditorium, just like in that dark firelit scene, it sets the mood. Yes, as a period uh, horror indie film and from like what I wanted based off of what I saw in the trailer. Yeah, it, it's handled fine. Now, what I'll say about the how the horror in this film is handled, it does feel more of that traditional creature lore type of film. I mean, in the classic way, but like also with it being an indie 2024 horror film, it still does work around that to make it fresh and make it effective at, at, at times, but just the type of horror tropes that were included in this film, they did feel out of place in the sense of, like, what I was expecting. I mean, regardless, the horror still, like, you know, got me and everything, but just from being, again, a period-based indie horror film releasing today, I was kind of expecting something much more, like, slow burn and experimental, like, say, The Outwaters, for example. But what I do want to talk about also is actually, like, just... The mysterious nature of that film, it's that whole case where this world feels very ominous and mysterious and just basically foreign. The movie does very well with leaning into that. There's a lot of themes surrounding like fear and like, being hunted and just being cautious. And it feels very connected and like personal to this world. So things felt very like uh, various and mysterious and like as a lore based period horror film, it just really worked for me. And I thought it was a really impressive and interesting, like, way that they that the film did things as far as, like, pacing-wise, because this is a film that, it has that traveling approach. These people are always on the move, always planning their next move, and if they're not moving, they're, like, you know, settling down for a night, you know, around a fire, just keeping watch, because, again, they're being pretty much hunted as they're trying to you know, travel and find new land. And that was really fun on top of everything as well because, you know, it did really well just as, like, a setting. It did really well with, like, you know, causing theories, speculating meaning, or, like, you know, the timeline of the story. And going back to the, uh, the setting and, like, the atmosphere and everything, this is, again, like, a very nature, folklore-based horror film. When they're not, like, traveling from land to land, and you're seeing the vast, ominous world. There is, like, a point in the film, like, get into, like, the second and third act where a lot of the time is spent in the woods. And that's where, like, a lot of the horror comes out and, like, a lot of comparisons and, like, leaning more into that traditional horror side of things. Which is fun because whether you're looking at this as, like, an old-fashioned creature film or you're looking at it as, like, an indie experimental horror film, it borrows from both sides really well. I mean, there are a lot of jump scares, but... Here's the thing is that while I tend to hate jump scares and they just like feel really cheap to me, these ones not only always got me, but I had fun with them because again, it's all the mystery in this film. And with a title like Out of Darkness and like setting being a huge part of this film and these people just traveling and just being in the world while they're being hunted, there is a lot of darkness in this film, like literally. There's a lot of dark scenes, there's a lot of jump scares, but the thing is that you never know what's fully causing it. You don't know what's harming these people. It was just fun to get this kind of like 
somewhat throwback traditional horror film that I wasn't really expecting. And along with just like aspects cinematically. It was just such a ride to watch. This film was an absolute pleasure for me. For me, this film kind of was like, it felt like Blair Witch Project meets The Witch meets Prey. And I was also just taken aback by how constant the horror was. I mean, you know, granted, this is only like an 87 minute film, but for an indie period based horror film, which just already indie and period horror based can be very, uh, like polarizing you know again things like it comes at night or the witch but it was nice to just see how much this film didn't waste anything also lastly getting like into the second and third act just as a story it does a lot character wise that really just again as a story and as characters with majority of this movie being stuck in the woods that's where it shows a lot of fun character turns and like themes of having people like showing their true colors or like doing certain things for survival. It's it's fun for an audience if you're deeply invested in this movie, you know, in these characters, in this story, in this world. As far as how I felt about this movie as the horror film it was, it was a pleasure. It was a ride. It was so nice as a movie with just a smooth 87 minutes to see how well it incorporated traditional horror scares as that indie period horror film it was releasing today. So guys, that is going to do it for my thoughts on Out of Darkness. Tomorrow, we have the Super Bowl, which I'm hoping is where they drop, you know, a lot of the bangers of trailers that they were saving. We have gotten a lot of trailers this week alone, and I'm hoping that we get something on Maxine. It doesn't seem like that would happen, like, oh yeah, the Super Bowl, let's drop the third final installment in the X franchise from Ty West. It just... I mean, don't get me wrong, I want that trailer. One of my most anticipated movies ever. But, I mean, all I'm saying is that there's going to be more trailers coming. I hope that's one of them, but, you know, we'll just see what we get tomorrow. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. This has been my review of Out of Darkness, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.